and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide today. We going over the market and kind of how the eggs affected it, guys. The eggs and coming golden tickets are going to affect things a lot, although the eggs already did affect things. Golden tickets will affect things a lot as well. Now, guys, I hope you guys didn't miss out. Yesterday was one of the biggest markets. Like, I thought last week's market crash was bad. This one might have been even worse. When all the eggs opened, guys, like, Ultimate Legends were so cheap. There was an Ultimate Legend Grand Egg. Howie Long was selling for 55k. A full Ultimate Legend. Now he's, now he's back to, like, 98k. So, had you bought, like, 10 of him, let's just say, for 50k, you would have essentially almost doubled your money. You probably got back. I mean, with the reduction and the little bit below 100, you right now, you'd probably be getting back, like, 350 to 400k, which is such a solid, solid buy, considering what you could just overnight, what you could gain. Guys, it's kind of like the stock market right now. No joke, like what you could have done yesterday. Everything was so cheap. Things may have rebounded, but they didn't rebound to regular price. They still rebounded to a discount value. But things are super, super cheap in the market right now. And I'm just gonna go over kind of how it got affected. And guys, remember, golden tickets will be coming out again this Thursday, which I believe today's Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's three days. You guys have three days in order to uh, wait for a next big crash. Now, again, it comes down to who they drop. The first drop might have been the worst only because people weren't like people were just so hyped for it but if they drop if hopefully they drop something good i think we'll get at least another quarterback so we get like a lamar or a newton or an rg3 no matter what people are going to pull for it so things going to be crazy crazy cheap guys so just save some coins for thursday see what you can buy that day again things are cheap now so if you want some things you can get them but we do know things will go down again on thursday just like they did last week so definitely stay tuned for that but guys before we get into today's video Make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on the bell, boys. Come join the family. I appreciate every person that still comes out for support, as well as all the new people that come out because, you know, guys, we're at that, we're at that time in Madden, and I really enjoy the people who are still around. And if you guys aren't around anymore, that's fine. Hopefully, you guys will come back in the Madden 21 season, which is all that I can ask for anyways. But let's get into it. So, Ed Reed, 198K. As you guys know, these cards were 330K about a week ago. Then they were 240, then they were like 220, then 205. Then yesterday they were like 170, 160, but they're back up to about 198. Like I said, you're still getting them on a discount, just slightly less of a discount than you would have gotten them a few days ago. But that's still more than okay. Now, if you guys really don't want to take advantage, like I said, you could buy a few cards now and wait it out. But I think golden tickets could send them down again. So if you feel as though this discount isn't good enough for you anymore, and I understand, right? If I saw a card for 160k and now they're almost 200k, will I buy it? I don't want to buy it anymore because now it seems ex it's expensive relative to what I saw. And I get that. So for you guys, you can always wait until golden ticket thursday and see what they drop they should be dropping three again so three should be more than enough hopefully maybe we get like a cam newton adrian peterson and then cravon leblanc like that alone those three right there should crash the market but as we move on down brady and some of the free agency cards they have come up but remember these free agency cards are set kind of cards so their value although they should be cheaper won't be as cheap because people have to do little sets but like things that can come out of packs and especially uh easter egg level stuff because all these stuff were like that that's the theme of the promo we're in should have well did come down some of these ultimate legends are finally rebounding randall mcdaniel if you guys didn't know was approximately 220k he has come back up in value back to 320 so just letting you guys know like obviously i don't think i don't think these ultimate legends the 98 ultimate legends are not a great buy right now they've came up all 100k all these cards were like 220 yesterday so i would not recommend buying them we did see what could happen when things do crash i'd recommend you wait and they're not really this value the reason they're this expensive now after all this is because people were smart enough to buy all the ones from in the 200k range knowing they could then sell them for 320 now a lot of smart people won't buy those cards anyways because they know what they saw so guys if you wait till thursday you could probably get them at another decent value or even ultimate legend saturday now as we're going down guys like mahomes they've taken permanent hits like mahomes will be below 500k for the rest of the year in my opinion and if he comes up guys it's not because that's his value it's because he's kind of rare and there's not a lot on the block but four or nine that's pretty much where he's gonna be sitting from now on and which is crazy because mine quick sells for 500k so i mean obviously i take that route before anything but these this my homes card still the best quarterback in madden well besides vic obviously but vic's another level but he's the best affordable quarterback in madden and for 400k it's kind of a steal i'm not gonna lie if you guys really want to wait golden tickets this week if they drop a cam newton or rg3 or any of the lamar any of the quarterbacks he could might get another hit and could end up being in like the 350 to 400k range potentially if he stays at 400k by then and then he gets hit again it's possible so definitely stay tuned for that guys could be a very good chance to buy nitrine lane again he's not really 609 he i've seen him fluctuate from 380 to 4 like 450 ish more so to 609 i've seen him fluctuate there all week it's just because there's not a lot of him and when there's nothing out right now the eggs were yesterday that's over with 
But again, golden tickets, they drop a good cornerback, they drop LeBlanc or something, or they drop Mike Evans, and Mike Evans is going to contest Nitro in lane. He's going to be that level of speed, height, press, zone man. The only thing's going to be the hit power. People always look at that. They're going to look straight for the 99 overall. Mike Evans, 6'5", which is going to be super glitchy. And then obviously guys like uh, Emmett Smith and Michael Strahan, these guys won't get real cheap any Okoye until they drop reduxes of them now since we don't have another series update for the rest of the year I don't know how they're gonna handle the whole redux situation quite honestly like they could either go they can go the route of just giving us another redux set just like dropping random redux or they can go the route of no more redux cards now I don't think that's the case I think we will be getting more but that will affect obviously the prices and the golden tickets guys they're just untouchable they're gonna be untouchable for a while like I cannot afford 6.49 mil for Lamar uh, Michael Vick like, let's say you guys, you can always buy coins. Remember, use code Poodle down below if you guys want to go buy coins. You can always go buy coins, pick up some of these cards. And not going to lie, if you guys were ever going to buy coins, wait for golden tickets to drop. Wait for the draft promo. Wait for a big promo to drop and take advantage because you can turn a million coins into a lot more cards during times like that. That's just my personal opinion. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the 98 to 99s. Like I said, golden tickets are going to be untouchable for quite a while. I don't think, I, I honestly, Vic might never be touchable, quite honestly. Uh, I mean, once they drop an Ultimate Legend Vic, he'll be pretty close to this card, because Ultimate Legend Vic, my hope is that they keep Vic as one of the 99 Ultimate Legends. That's my hope. Because Red 98s, I, I, I've been telling you guys, by mid-late April, I believe by probably like April 25th to maybe the first, last week going to the first week of May, we should start getting our first 99s uh, Ultimate Legends, whether it be LTDs or regular. So I think, hopefully they save Vic as a 99 Ultimate Legend. Which would be super nice for most people. Would really upset the people who have this Vic. Because if they make a 99 Ultimate Legend Vic. Guys he's going to be super similar to this card. Because they're both 99 overalls. Now he's going to have like the boosted stats. But it will be very similar. He might just have a slightly less throw short. And maybe a little less like whatever stats they gave on the back of the card. But other than that he's going to be very very similar. And he's just going to get different abilities. Because he doesn't have the Improviser, Field General, and Scrambler. But I'm okay with that. That's fine. If that's the case to get Vic for like 500k versus 6.49 million. But let's go on to the next set of cards because, guys, these Ultimate Legends yesterday, like the 96 and 97 Ultimate Legends, crashed real bad. I'll show you guys what I mean. How we long, like I said. These guys right here were going for like 50 to 60k yesterday. Had you bought, if you had a million coins, you were able to buy 20 of these cards. If you had a million, you would have bought 20 of these. Straight up, 20. And you resold those for double your money, which would have been another 50k just about right now. You could have easily had made a million coins. If my math's wrong, please correct me. But I believe on 10 of them, if you bought 10, you sold them back. You made close to 500K if you sell for 100. I'm gonna do the reduction after. And then if you did 20, I believe that's another 500K. So in essence, you made a million coins. Take out the reduction, take out the, the fact 95. You probably end up leaving with about 800K, which is not bad at all. So 100,000 for a uh, reduction. Then we have a little like, some of these might sell only for like 88 to 90. So you could easily have made close to like 800K. 750 and i think that's a great great value just for doing absolutely nothing and you didn't have to wait 24 hours like you already could have sold them guys yesterday was the time where all the smart people flourished i'm telling you 126k for calvin johnson just such great values guys you can honestly build like hey, guys you, this is the time where you could build a god squad madden for so cheap so like yesterday like prior to the eggs and golden tickets to build a god squad like let's say it would have cost you like six million coins like to build a god god level squad like, and that's like 99 overalls now okay let's let's go back down a little bit to build like a 96 overall team like mine like a 96 overall team level god squad not the best team in madden but one of the best teams in terms of online like you guys don't kill me i know you're gonna say like a 96 isn't a god squad if you looked at my team i have everything chemmed up and powered up the way i want it it's very good for my play style and most cards have 99 overall stats already so like going up just because it's not a 99 overall doesn't mean it's not a great team but my point being here is is that if you want to build like a 96 overall god squad where you could power them all up you could have built bought one each for 50k and you would have needed like 30 cards total you could have easily for a little over a million coins bought like 20 to 30 of these cards and powered them up for another like 500k for like 1.5 million you could have got a whole team of powered up 97 ultimate legends like you guys get the point there's so much you could have done yesterday so i'm just saying like you could still do that when the golden tickets drop this thursday stay tuned for that because you could easily build a god squad for super cheap right now with the way the market's been destroyed by the eggs and everything else and the team of the years i know they did have a team of the year um egg so i believe those went down a little bit too as you guys can see a 97k now again they all rebounded a little bit but yesterday they were not this cheap but guys like george kiddo for 120 is kind of a steal aaron donald is the only guy who ever retains value out of all these guys 298 still because guys he's just the best end in madden like it's not close 
like for his value and like his overall he came out in january i remember specifically because i was on vacation he came out like january like 15th around there and to get chemmed up maxed out to 99 power move 99 block check close 99 play rec with good speed and everything 99 strength still an insane card uh that's why he's holding that value there's gonna be like we really need i don't understand how it's been three months almost maybe actually no it has been it's been three months like as of today i don't know how we still don't have a better right end than aaron donald like significantly better not like close but significantly better but guys it's better for the video hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below turn that on you boys comment down below if you guys need any help and that's about it peace